is like the first step to starting back to IVF. We get asked all the time, what do we call our birth moms? Our chromosomes came back, They call, the, the fertility clinic called me. Why is the camera on? Egg retrieval, mm -hmm. they pulled my sperm, they pulled her eggs, and they put them together. Okay, can I tell you guys that I'm out of breath? <laughs> that was hard. It's a little bit harder to get outside and sweat and walk when you're not feeling 100%, but I do have to say it feels good. Every time I'm sick, I don't ever want to like exercise or get outside, but I feel so much better when I do. A little flushed, but we're gonna go inside, get our car after our oil change, and move on with our day. Where is it? Where is your car? What happened? They fixed it. They fixed it. You, you got it? Yeah. Yeah? Did we just drop off Callie? What? Well, we just dropped off Callie with Daddy while he's working from home for her to take a nap. And Kinsley and I, are we going to go on a date? Where are we going? Date! Date! Where are we going? Start! To the store! That's where we always go on our dates. Let's go! So guys, guess what I just did? I just picked up my patches for IVF, my estrogen patches. So a little trick that our doctor's office encouraged us is, you know, leading up to do, doing the transfer, try to pick up your patches, you know, every month or if they let you do it every three weeks just to try to stock up a little bit, it can save a little bit of cost because it's not buying them all in bulk because the insurance will kind of cover it every month, but they don't want to cover all of so much medication all at one time. So if we kind of stock up at least for, you know, maybe one, maybe two, and, and kind of stock up a little bit before starting, um, it can save us a little bit, but it's kind of weird. It feels like this is like the first step to starting back to IVF. It's the new year, time to pick up medication again, but I just was walking through Costco and I didn't pick up formula, and I haven't been picking formula up for months, but I feel like, I have toddlers. I have toddlers at home and it's funny because Kinsley was 16 months when, when Callie was born and Callie's almost going to be 16 months in just a couple months so it's really crazy to think. When I was born. When you were born? When, it's crazy to think having 18. I went, I went to the water. You went to the water? Yeah. Oh. I went to the water and I went to the fountain. You went to the fountain? I went to the fountain. When? And I went, I, I was born. You were born at the fountain? Yeah. Interesting. Whose tummy were you in when you were born? Cece. That's right, Cece's tummy. So we have a cute, sweet, we get asked all the time, what do we call our birth moms? So we have cute little names and kind of still figuring out what, what do they want to be called? What do the girls want to call them? But for right now, Kinsley knows that she came out of Cece's tummy and I think that's very good for being two and kind of learning about, you know, everything. The goal is for her never to feel like she was told she was adopted, for her to always just know. So it's just kind of part of um, casual conversation every so often and she wants to tell you guys, tell them a story. With all the research that has been done, that's actually been like the marker of research of showing that that's actually best for the child and so that's what we are following. Hey. We stuck up on our frozen fruit here because we do a lot of smoothies and the girls will even eat frozen fruit as like a snack and stuff. They don't have frozen cherries. Do you want cherries? Yeah, I don't have any frozen cherries. They don't have any frozen cherries. It's so sad. Okay. Apple up here. Can you put that one up there? Yeah. Good job. I got it. Got it. Okay, we, might, we have to wait for more room, but do you want to put this one up next? Yeah. <laughs> It's not heavy? Oh good. Kinsley, I love your manners. I am so proud of you. Thank you for saying please and thank you and you're welcome. You are doing such a good job. Did you do good today? No! Did you say please? No! Did you say thank you? No! Did you say you're welcome? No! Yes you did! No! No! What do you mean no? No! 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 You're so silly. Are you ready to go home? No! I definitely believe that that one is a no. <laughs> no! Skip!
Kinsey. Shh, no. Shh, 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 no. Don't yell. Okay. My New Year's resolution is to get the girls out and do more activities. Now, I don't mean that that means you have to go pay for things and go do things that cost a lot. Um, but like the library, I'm sure that they have like reading sessions or even just taking them to the library and like going and look at books or, you know, going to the park more. The park is usually our go-to, but like coming up with creative ideas that are outside of the park or like on occasion taking them to like the children's museum or things like that. That is my new year's resolution is to get my kids out and doing more experiences. Jesus. for the girls to share. So so our chromosomes came back. They called the the fertility clinic called me. Why is the camera on? <sighs> and um <sighs> you're weird and I'm weird. We but our that. chromosomes are normal. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. I'm the one that usually does that stuff to you. I know, he does that to me all the time. Wait, 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 tell me more. No, that's all. So the first panel of blood work we've done for the clotting all came back normal, but the second half I'm going in to draw tomorrow, the MTHFR, I messed that letters yeah, yeah, yeah. up, whatever that combination yeah, 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 yeah. is, that one's gonna be drawn tomorrow with that big, huge combination. Okay, so that's what all you guys said. Guys, seriously, thank you for telling us to go check for MTHFFR9, whatever that <laughs> thing was, because <laughs> Alex is going to do that tomorrow. Yeah. But wait a minute, my so chromosomes the, are normal? Your chromosomes are normal, and my chromosomes are normal. I feel like my chromosomes shouldn't be normal. <laughs> Oh. So they checked us to see if chromosomally we had anything abnormal because let's say you do have a recessive gene of something or I do and then us together, um, the embryos could have that. Okay. And so that maybe that would yeah. say that maybe they're genetically abnormal, but now they, they could still be genetically abnormal just because that's embryos in general. Yeah. Um, Cause some of them are, but, right? For you guys that are new to catch up on our journey, I have had male factor infertility for Ever. God knows how long, probably forever. And Alex I, has. I got diagnosed with stage four endometriosis a couple years into our infertility journey. And so when so. we did our first and only um, egg retrieval, egg retrieval, mm -hmm. they pulled my sperm, they pulled her eggs, and they put them together. Mm -hmm. And we had six that lasted past day five into healthy embryos. We ended up with we ended up with six healthy blastocysts, day five six embryos, and. Um, the first two um, are not with us mm -hmm. anymore. And we found out recently in the last one that because we took an early pregnancy test, we found out that Alex did have um, beta levels that were higher than like the neutral line of you're not pregnant. And yeah. so we began tracking that and our fertility doctor said, well, so, maybe you have been getting pregnant. Your body is just miscarrying. Super and early. So what we're and trying so she doesn't, she doesn't know that for the first transfer. She says it's possible. She says, I don't know, but it's possible. Um, but the second one, she said it, it is a chemical pregnancy. It was just, we barely caught it. I'm, I wish we would have started taking pregnancy tests earlier. I wish I hadn't had so many years of infertility of being so afraid to take a pregnancy totally. tests at this point. Totally. Um, cause I'm like, I'm just going to wait. I don't want to, I don't want to. And now I wish we would have, even with the first transfer, I wish we would have done one even like, let's say three days before the beta, maybe four yeah. or five days before the beta. And then, you know, just know that it could be, 
you know, false. It's understandable why we didn't take tests, but mm -hmm. I'm glad we did. It's 2018 and we're ready to roll. Mm -hmm. And you guys, because of your incredible generosity, and if I talk too long about it, we'll cry again. Yeah. We're probably going to be doing the transfer Soon. within the next yeah. month. No, and it, it just, it's all going to be now medical. There is no financial reason. <laughs> I am going to cry. There is no financial reason to hold us back from doing the transfer. So we are very, very excited to Incredibly say that excited. this journey is starting and it's starting soon. Now. It and actually started today because I picked up my meds. Go you. So, um, yeah, so that's just like a recap for those that have not been on this channel. For those that have, that's just also a reminder of where mm -hmm. we are. On a healthy notice, guys, we're trying to eat healthier this year. It's not like we didn't. It was just, you know, holidays and chocolate, and I love chocolate. But this is the year to continue getting healthy. I don't feel like we're super unhealthy. No, it would, it would, um, be, it would be unwise to not try to be as healthy as we can yeah. going into this transfer. And I haven't even told Philip that I think I want to do the one month of acupuncture with that acupuncturist we went to. The last couple years, you guys have even seen, maybe in very, very, very early videos, we went to a fertility acupuncturist, and he actually is the only thing that made a difference for Philip. Yeah, warning, this is medical, and this does talk about male infertility. Beep! Okay, uh, I have, what? Go, go ahead. Why are you, like, looking at me? I know, she's crazy? nervous. <laughs> um, I have uh, male factors, so that includes um, I have a very slow swimmers. I have so it's count, motility, and morphology, and all three were, were off. Low. So with the acupuncture and the herbs and all the tricks and tips that he made us do, um, the count and the mo and the morphology went to normal. It's just the motility wasn't able to increase yeah. enough to naturally conceive. Yeah, and I feel like he would help like with me for circulation and things like that. So. Yeah. I definitely don't think that this year would have started with so much hope without you. Mm -hmm. and, no, it would, I absolutely and wouldn't have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of our heart, we get to do this because of you. So thank you so, so much from uh, the $1 gifts We're to the make a baby massive $440 gift. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna create this baby and raise this life and do this as a community. You ready? Let's do it.